game over. Elon Musk just revealed Tesla's first flying vehicle. Elon Musk says the Tesla Roadster with the SpaceX thruster package for release in 2022 is a flying car. However, it can only fly for several seconds. Many people are looking forward to the electric vehicle's release. They are fascinated by the recent claims of the Tesla CEO on the car's capabilities. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the possibility of a flying Tesla. Hello investors and welcome back to Future Tech. Watch the video until the end as every important question will be answered. What do you think about Tesla producing flying cars? Please let me know below this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss out on one of our videos. And having said that, let's get started. Will Elon Musk create an actual electric vehicle intended for flying? This is not yet a confirmed feed or production line at Tesla. Still, people will surely anticipate one from the company. The prominence of the electric car maker's product has transcended into a cult-like following which anticipates everything that Tesla releases. One of Tesla's closest competitors is Rimac with the Concept One which claims that it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds, 1.8 to be exact. It was initially faster than the Roadster. However, Elon Musk's recent claims to the Tesla Roadster's capabilities to achieve 0 to 60 in a little over a second beat it. The Tesla Roadster 2022 has been a long, rumored machine later revealed by Elon Musk and confirmed for 2021. However, speculations have now risen, which suggests the Roadster's pre-order by 2022 and arrival by 2023, which is two years later than its original launch date, pushed due to Tesla's chip issues, like the one with Model S Plaid. In the recent statement by Musk via Twitter, he said that the Tesla Roadster can fly in a brief second before landing or returning to the surface and can do it with the SpaceX thruster package. Not much is known from the said thruster package from SpaceX, especially its fuel needs and requirements to propel, as Tesla is known to be a fully electric company. Musk said in his statement that this is an irony and fate, especially as the Tesla CEO has initially laughed about flying cars for unknown reasons and he may not have imagined doing this with the EV company. While the vehicle is not a full-fledged flying car, it is somewhat close to it and the one resembling the nearest approximation to what people would imagine a flying car would be. Since the Tesla Roadster 2022 can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds with the SpaceX thruster package, it can achieve more velocity and momentum to launch from the ground for a longer feat. The Roadster's thruster would be the main reason for its ability to fly, combined with its light body, but would not be able to sustain it as per Musk due to having wings or propellers to further its capabilities. Delay in the Roadster release During Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, CEO Elon Musk announced that the new Roadster electric supercar won't be going into production until 2023 due in part to supply issues, which have also led to the delayed arrival of the brand's Cybertruck pickup, Musk said during the call. This year has been a constant struggle with parts supply. Just to be clear, if we had five extra products, we could not charge our vehicle output at all because we were just basically limited by multiple supply chain shortages. So I think what we'll see is for Cybertruck to start production at the end of next year and then reach volume production at the end of 2023, he said. Hopefully, we can also be producing the Semi and the new Roadster in 2023 as well. The second-generation Tesla Roadster was first unveiled way back in 2017 alongside the brand semi-truck. The zero-emission supercar's introduction has been pushed back previously due to a long list of other projects, including the commencement of the Model Y SUV's production and the construction of the American electric car maker's new Gigafactory in Berlin, Germany, which is now operational. Musk has previously said the Roadster was designed to give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars, with its claimed performance figures, according to Tesla, making the new Roadster capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds and 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. To put that into perspective, the Roadster can reach 100 miles per hour in the same time it takes a Porsche 911 Carrera to hit 62 miles per hour. The Roadster's top speed is said to be over 250 miles per hour. The Roadster will feature a tri-motor setup, the same as you'll find in the Model S Plaid, with one electric motor powering the front wheels and one on each of the rears. The result, Musk claims, will be 10,000 Nm of torque, with the horsepower figure to be announced later on, likely to be well in excess of 1,000 bhp. 
Tesla is also claiming that the Roadster will also be able to cover around 620 miles on a single charge thanks to a 200,000 watt per hour battery. For reference, the longest range production electric car currently on sale is the Lucid Air Luxury Saloon, which does 520 miles on a single, according to the American EPA test cycle. We also expect, like all of Tesla's current models, the Roadster will feature rapid charging capabilities around or above the 250,000 watt speeds the Model 3 can recharge at. Morgan Stanley's thoughts on it. Morgan Stanley analyst Adams Jonas believes Tesla's next business venture will likely be flying cars, according to a Thursday note. While admitting that Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk have never mentioned their intent of building a flying car, Jonas believes the synergies between flying cars and autonomous driving, electric vehicles, and battery technology are too great to ignore. The chance that Tesla does not ultimately offer products and services to the flying car market is remote. The potential skills, transferability, and network adjacencies are too strong to ignore. Jonas explained. While Musk has favored autonomous vehicles, tunnels, and space travel, he has been dismissive of flying cars in the past, according to Jonas. So we must acknowledge that Tesla management has, to date, openly discouraged speculation around their involvement in flying cars. So that's it then. We'll have Teslas on our roads, underground in tunnels, on Mars, but not in Earth's skies? Well, we're not convinced, Jonas said. The analyst who has a knack for long-term speculation on the trajectory of Tesla's business thinks a slice of the flying car market could be worth as much as $1,000 per share for Tesla and have a total addressable market of $9 trillion by 2050. Yes, 2050, Jonas commented. Alternatively, a flying car business could be worth as little as $100 per share for Tesla. But for now, given the level of speculation, Jonas is excluding the potential for Tesla flying cars from his Tesla price target of $900. We note that our current $900 price target does not include any valuation for Tesla's participation in the aviation market, Jonas concluded. So, this is all about Tesla's flying car. If you enjoyed this video, then you probably really will enjoy my other videos. So if you click on the screen right now, you can go and watch the other videos. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. See you next time on our channel.